I absolutely love living here. I mean, it can get a bit cold in the winter, and you're definitely like, oh, Hawaii would be nice right now. But I don't know. I feel like it just, it's home, and I feel comfortable here, and there's like no snakes or anything, or like sharks, so. Yeah, well, they're not like poisonous snakes or like in Australia or anything like that. Yeah, but they were like this big. So it's like, okay, there's like, I don't know. I just feel comfortable here, so yeah, I love it. And it's like, the water's so clean. It's such nice people, it's such a small town, so you like know everybody and just happy. I'm Matea Olin and I'm a surfer. I train and travel and do school and I do what I love practically every day. And Sanoa Olin, I am 12 years old and I am a surfer from Tofino. I love surfing. I like I don't know what I would do without it. Like every day, even if I'm in a bad mood, I'll go surf. No matter what, I'll come in with a smile and it's literally like my home and like my best friend really. I think they were both born with just this inherent talent. You know, Matea, from the moment she could walk, people were blown away by her physical ability. And I think for Matea, no matter what, you know, what she would have chose, like her her strength and her grace and her ability is really spectacular. And for Sanoa, um, she's like one of these children that's like on the earth, but not of the earth. So I'm always a little bit amazed by her and just her, her divine passion and her ability to just go out there and get things done. She's got this fire. So Taya kind of led the way and Sanoa was, it was just this force behind her. Every day is really different depending on swell and if we're traveling and if we're competing. But when I'm at home, a normal day would be like getting up early, training, surfing, then like doing school because I do online school. And then, well, I eat a lot of food, so I'll eat food throughout the day. Yeah, it's like, it's, the best life you could ever ask for. Like, we literally do everything together. Like, we, since like we homeschool, we're like, do school together, we surf together, we eat food together, we, you know? So, like, we literally do every single thing together. So, we kind of get on each other's nerves, like, a lot. Like, we know how to get each other upset or, like, frustrated, but we're, like, probably, probably some of the closest. Like, we're so close, I don't even really know what to say. My little sister right beside me always, like, blabbing in my ear and trying to get me in trouble with no matter what, but. I love having her there and especially when we're across the world. Nothing beats having my sister beside me and I always love having my sister out on the water with me. We're really lucky to have a really good trainer here in Tofino and we work with him quite a lot and we got this really good routine going that we do at home and before we surf and I really enjoy it. It makes my body feel amazing and it's preventing a lot of injuries. I think it's really rad that they take it so seriously like to be 15 and 12 and be rolling out and stretching and doing a routine before they go out into a competition, like that's huge. All the power to them. I think it's only gonna make you a better surfer the more you know about your body. I totally support them in, in wanting to become competitive athletes. And my, my one drive for them when I see them is like, it, just as long as they stay connected to their soul within that. So I totally trust them out there and um, I just, I love seeing them excel and I love seeing them working really hard, keep believing in their their destinies within that. We're kind of competing against, like, we're just kind of competing for ourselves, but, like, me and my sister are, like, probably some of, like, the most competitive people ever, so, like, my goal is always to, like, beat her, but then at the same time, this is actually kind of funny, like, when I am competing against her and I'm actually, like, doing well, I'm almost scared because, like, I'm scared I'm going to beat her, and, like, she absolutely hates it, and then other times I just really want to beat her, so it's kind of, like, we definitely push each other now a lot and I know she's like right behind me and if I want to keep on doing well, I know I'll have to put a lot of work in because she just wants to beat me, I know that. Second place, Sonoa Olin. Yeah. And going to Dachshund, Matea Olin. Yeah. There you go, the new 68 girls champion. She's probably like my biggest inspiration. She's like pretty much one of the only reasons I'm here where I am. Like I see her surfing, seeing her doing new turns, and I want to do them, so yeah. At the end of the day, it like doesn't really matter if you win the medal or lose or surf great or terrible. It's all about learning and getting to like do what you love and travel. And I get to do so many things in my life and I'm just beyond stoked to be able to live this life. I think together as a team they're unstoppable. And I hope that they really get to learn 
the gift in having each other out there and even if they're competing against each other that there's a beauty to that that they're there together and they're sharing these experiences whether in competition or training that are going to like just to help them become better people and to share that in a family is is pretty awesome my dreams in life i feel like right now i really want to focus on training and improving my surfing and myself and i would love to be the first Canadian to qualify for the World Tour and I would love to represent Canada in the Olympics and I hope that I can inspire many Canadian surfers along the way. I definitely want to like travel and surf new waves and like it would be super cool to be in like a surf movie or something and like I love competing but as long as it involves like the ocean and surfing and like my family I'm happy with that. Yeah I think there's great things coming. I'm just excited for everything that's ahead.